Okay, so in this next part of matrices, we're looking at the size of the matrix, which we call the order. Okay, so in this first matrix that I'm looking at, example, who knows what the data represents, there's two rows and there's three columns. Okay, two rows and three columns. And what we say is the order is a two by three. So we use, you know, two by three or two times three, but two by three is the order of the matrix. In the second matrix B, I have three rows and I have one column, three rows and one column, so the order is a three by one. Okay, so that's the first part, so copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so first thing is equality of matrices. If matrices have the same order, then we can look at equal, we can equate, so that word is equate. So if matrices have the same size, then we can look at corresponding elements. So for instance, um, I've got a two by two and I've got a two by two. So these two matrices, we're saying by definition they're equal. And so we can have a little equation set up. So for instance, this position here has to be the same as that number there, but it's, it's in a corresponding position. So A plus three equals five and then you solve it. And then this B, two B is in the same position as two. So then we can solve it and then this C on two is in the same position as that minus one, so we can solve it. And then finally, this number here is in the same position as that number there, and so we can solve it. And so there's a little bit of algebra there, and there's a few questions I could ask, and there might be some questions in the book. But basically, once you've got corresponding matrices or the same order, then you can look at the corresponding elements. Okay, so looking at the next page. So now we're up to adding and subtracting matrices. And this can only be done if they have the same size. So you, if you've got a two by two and you're trying to add a two by two, that's okay. But if you've got a two by two and you're trying to add a two by one, you can't do it because they're not the same size. Okay, so copy that and come across. So looking at this, I'll do the first one for you. So we've got a two by two and a two by two, so we're gonna add them. So three plus six, is nine, two plus zero is two, minus one plus two is one, four plus minus one is three. And that's the answer. So these, these numbers might be representing wins and losses for different things, but it doesn't really matter. So can you ever go at the next one? And the only thing I've done is I've changed it to a subtraction. So pause the tape and when you're ready, come back live. Okay, so we're back. Five minus minus one is six. Minus one minus two is minus three. Two minus zero is two. Three minus one is two. And that's the end. So pretty straightforward. Uh, again, you won't get a lot of stocking fillers on these, but there's questions that you will get asked. Um, the last thing we're gonna do on this video is multiplying a matrix by another number. Now this number is a number and we call that a scalar. So a scalar is just a number. And it could be, you know, it could be a no, plus three, could be minus two, could be a quarter. It's, as long as it's a number, it's called a scalar. So for instance, if A is this matrix three minus two, one, zero, two times A it just means you take every number and you double it. So two times three equals six, minus four, two, zero. So sca multiplying by a scalar is pretty straightforward. You just multiply every element in the matrix by the scalar. And this number here could be anything, could be decimals, could be fractions, it doesn't matter. And that's the end of that. So there'll be questions that you'll see to do with multiplying, uh, adding and subtracting and multiplying by a scalar.